Hi guys, so I know I haven't filmed in a while. Um, there's been a lot going on. Um, we just got a dog, a puppy, so that's been a fun time. Um, it feels weird filming again, but I thought I would film my Sephora recommendations and for the VIB sale, which is coming up. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show probably more of my puppy Nala. She is so adorable. I love her so, so much, but she is a lot of hard work and um, not a lot of sleep. So that's been going on, obviously work and everything else has been going great. Just um, haven't really filmed as much as I usually have, but I have a lot of hauls and goodies. I actually ordered a lot of clothes from Shein and I really like them. I ordered from White Fox, um, where else? Um, where else? Just like those fast fashion places, um, just to do a, a review. Obviously not paid. Most of them are, so that's kind of why I ordered from there. Um, just to see if they're actually worth the hype. Um, actually I'm really surprised with a lot of them. Um, I ordered from uh, Zoffel for bikinis and I've been shopping a lot on Amazon. So I'm going to do an Amazon haul, um, a lot of clothes, fashion, um, stuff and just like staples. So get ready for those videos, but I'm just going to jump into my Sephora recommendations and these are in no particular order. So I'm going to start out with the Hourglass Vanish primer. So I've been using this a lot and it's just really, really nice, really nice bottle. And I really enjoy using this. I feel like it doesn't break me out, which a lot of primers tend to do. Um, it just feels really glamorous. Also, once again, like it's just worth it to get these on a discount because if you can get 20% off of like an hourglass product or other products I talk about, it's just worth it. So I, I just put a lot of stuff in my car and then I'll check out. So yeah, hourglass, if you have normal to oily skin, you will love this just like a silicone primer, but it's like really, really, really um, smoothing and just actually holds your makeup in place as well as extremely luxurious. So it's become one of my all time favorite primers. Um, moving on to some brushes. So I love Sephora brand brushes. They're about $30. Um, sorry, they're dirty. I use them a lot. So this is the bronzer brush. This is so loved. I love this bronzer brush. Um, just really good, innovative, like the way it looks. I don't know. I just love it so, so much. I've washed it so many times. It's hold its shape. Sephora brushes are really good quality. I also got the blush brush, which I used to apply my blush today as you can see it really applies exactly where you want the blush to go so i really recommend the bronzer brush and the blush brush and i probably will pick up the powder brush during this sale as well so um let me know if you want a video on what i actually purchased from the sale so next product i recommend is the dior forever matte foundation just letting you know i have normal to oily skin and I struggled to find a shade in this. Um, I feel like it runs really, really dark. So this is uh, 3N and I actually went down a shade and I feel like it still is a bit dark. Um, I am a little self tan right now, but um, yeah, I love this foundation. It just like, it's hard to explain. Like when I put it on, I just feel like my skin just looks like so, so, so beautiful and, and glowing, even though it's a matte foundation. They have a matte version and an oily version. Um, but yeah, if you have a normal to oily skin, I really recommend the Dior Forever Foundation. And it's just so nice with the glass bottle and it's really gunky right here, but um, great coverage, transfer proof, 24 hour foundation. So, so nice. And um, I don't have a lot of products from Dior, but this foundation is new and it's amazing. Next is an, actually another product from Dior. So this blush is goes in and out of stock and I happen to catch it in stock. So if you can get it in stock, definitely recommend picking it up. This, this is a Dior Backstage Rosy Glow um, blush. So everyone's been talking about this. I think Kylie Jenner talked about it and then put it on the map. Um, it's just a beautiful baby pink. I love it so, so much. Um, beautiful. I actually purchased it recently and it literally went out of stock already. So just like make sure to buy it when it goes in stock, as you can see, just a really glowing from within 
blush and i love it so so much and of course um i just love the packaging it's super sleek so if you can get your hands on it i definitely recommend it next are a lot of lip products so i've been obsessed with lip products lately trying like expensive ones to see if they're worth it um some are not i think but in here i'm going to talk about the ones that are so i'm going to start with the makeup by mario this is their mask his moisture glow plumping lips lip serum so i picked up two shades this is apricot glow um so it really does get really liquidy but it's just so so um plumping and it just it's basically like a, the butter glosses but just like way way nicer um it does get messy i will say but i just love how um moisturizing it is on the lips and i think that this is a really good formula super new um, next is another product by Makeup by Mario. This is his uh, Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. So I have two shades. I have Pinky Brown and I also have um, the other one that's more pink. Um, I really, really like this. It's basically like a liquid lipstick. I'm wearing this right now. Um, it's like a souffle liquid lipstick. Super comfortable. I just feel like it makes my... I'm like blending it into my skin. I feel like it just makes my lips look really full. It stays all day and a really innovative formula. So I feel like he's really killing it with the formulas. And also I really like the lip liner as well. So um, I would definitely recommend that. But I've talked about that a lot on my channel already. So I'm not going to really go too far into that. I found the other shade. This is Nude Suede and this is Pinky Brown. I'll swatch them both for you. I picked up Nude Suede first. And this is just a beautiful nude. And then I like a pinky brown. So I picked up the other one. I think he came out with more shades actually. But I think I'm good with right, what I have right now. Since I have so many lip colors to get through. And they do tend to go bad pretty quickly. So this is Nude Suede. And this is Pinky Suede. So really beautiful. Um, next is the NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss. So I love pink, light pink. I just feel like it makes me look really youthful. And they actually reformulated all these lip glosses. And they're so, so, so nice. So this is, you can't really see it that well. But it just looks really good on top of every single lipstick. Not sticky at all. Lasts all day. It's just like a perfect formula if you look at the reviews. I'm just like piling it on. So if I could pick up like one lip gloss, I would definitely recommend the Dior um, lip gloss formula. And I love light pink, so I picked Turkish Delight. Next is a major splurge, but I don't regret getting it at all. It's super um, luxurious. This is Tom Ford lip color. Um, what's it called? Do, do Seal, a 521 Do Seal. So it has that luxurious Tom Ford packaging but this is so perfect for summer it's basically like a lip butter but it's so pigmented and moisturizing i just can't wait to wear it to the pool like i just can't wait to wear it to the pool um which is so beautiful so i definitely recommend picking this up during the sale i'm probably going to pick up more tom ford products um, because i love them so so much they are expensive but they're so so nice and I, i've loved every single tom ford product that i've picked up so far so yeah next is this grande lash md lash enhancing serum so i'm wearing it right now that's why i'm not wearing a lot of eye makeup but i have to say i did have noticed a bit of a difference um this is a three month supply and i've only been using it for like a month so i can't really speak highly of it um but i've been going back and forth do i want to get eyelash extensions or not um i'm leaning towards not because they are first of all really high maintenance and expensive i don't want to lie there for two hours and i don't know i just i like playing with eyeshadow so i feel like if i get eyelash extensions then i'm not gonna be able to really play with makeup too much because like i don't want to mess with my extensions um but i've been really going back and forth about it so i feel like this is a happy medium i think it's like 68 dollars for the three month supply the reviews make it seem like it's amazing um let's look at my lashes right now so i'm not wearing any mascara because i put this on um and i want to show you guys another mascara in a second but i feel like this is a good happy medium i'll let you guys know 
um, but I have noticed a difference. So I definitely recommend picking it up on sale and trying it for yourself. Um, next is the mascara I'm talking about. This is so amazing. This is the Lash Rocket Mascara with Lash Enhancing Peptides by um, Freck. So I just saw this on the new Sephora page. And the, first of all, the packaging is super like weighted. And it's just like this really wet brush, which will probably get better in time. But I feel like this has also helped my eyelashes kind of grow has lash enhancing peptides, whatever that means. So as you can see, that's just one coat. I just feel like I was really leaning towards getting lash extensions, but with this Grande Lash, it's just actually a lot cheaper. And I don't know, I don't like the look of eyelash extensions once they start falling out and there's like people that get eyelash extensions weekly and I'm like I'm not about doing that it's not even about the money even though it's obscenely expensive it's just a time commitment and just for eyelash I don't know I, I would try it but I just I want to try that first and I feel like it's been working so that is the mascara it's so so nice and volumizing so loving that definitely recommend picking that up I think it's on the expensive side, I think $30, but it's by Freck Mascara Lash Rocket. I'll try it. Moving on to another lip product. This is the Patrick Ta Lip uh, Gloss. This is in the shade Pouty. I also purchased the red shade after trying this one. I'm obsessed with this formula, guys. First of all, it smells like cinnamon. It just makes your lips look so, so, so... Like you've got like Juvederm in there. I love it. I feel like honestly, like these lip products that are coming out, like make your lips look so full to the point where it looks like you got lip injections, which I can't get because I had a weird reaction to the, um, what's it called? The numbing creams, <laughs> like, which is so bizarre. So I can't even get lash extensions. So I'm just like trying my best here. But the formula is absolutely amazing. I love this formula it's probably my favorite of all time and um so far and uh i, I bought the red shade and I, he came out with a lot more um but as you can see i plan to go through so we are you know holding back on that right now next is the last lip color i'm going to talk about this is the tom ford lip color in the shade love lust i really splurged on this product it is a baby pink it is just so so beautiful let's watch it for you I'm running out of space here right here it's just tom ford just killed it like i recommend trying this and um i fell asleep and also just tom ford products i really like the lip products um the foundation i'm kind of like so so on but you know next product um is is the LYS Concealer Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. This concealer is so nice. First of all, the packaging is super sleek. Um, it is kind of hard to get out, but it's okay. Um, it's just super hydrating underneath the eyes. And it's pretty much medium to full coverage, I would say. I don't like too cakey up, on, up concealers. And I have pretty dark under eyes. So as you can see, this is very brightening very blendable lys well this concealer is just absolutely amazing and i love it so so much it reminds me a lot of the joer hydrating concealer but i like it a little bit better and i have it in the shade mn3 and i think it's a perfect shade for me so i have been loving that concealer and i want to try more things from this brand even though it's for it seems like dry skin people um i still have really dry under eyes so I do want to try the, their cream blushes. I heard that they're really, really good. Just this brand overall, people have been absolutely raving about. And I think that's pretty much it. I do have an honorable mention. This is the Tarte C Breezy Cream Blush and Bronzer Palette. So I'm not really like a cream blush and bronzer person, but I just absolutely think this would be great for traveling. I do think that this bronzer is like kind of like cream to powder as you can see it's not patchy 
and I just think the packaging is so so beautiful I love the like Tiffany blue on the outside just absolutely stunning I also think this bronze is really good for contouring I don't know I just think it's a really easy on the go palette so it's an honorable mention honorable mention So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want a what I purchased from the Sephora B.I.B. sale. And I'm going to have a lot of more fashion videos coming. Because that's kind of what I've been more into lately than makeup. Well, 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 I've been equally into as makeup. So love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. It means the world to me. And bye. What's not to like? <laughs> you don't like yourself? <laughs>